the American church has become very good at putting on worship services. So one of the reasons you probably come to Broadview is because you love the music and uh, the preaching and it just, you come to service and you walk away feeling uplifted and glad you were there. And, and I, well, I'm going to use this phrase and I don't mean to use it negatively, but it's, it's almost entertaining, isn't it? It's kind of entertaining to come to church. You walk away, wow, it was a pretty good show. And that's not our motivation. That's not what we're trying to do. We're not trying to put on a show, but we want everything to be done excellently. We think if you two can put on a good concert and, 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 and strike people and minister to people's emotional state in such a way that they, they are moved, and then, then the gospel is much more forceful and much more important than a U2 song, and so we want to do everything we can to do that. But what's happened unintentionally, because the church has put so much focus on those things, we've taken the main thing, which is discipleship, and it's almost become kind of secondary to the Christian faith, something you do uh, uh, eventually, you know, you can become a Christian, you can become saved, but following Jesus, that's kind of something that you can do um, later on if you decide. It, it's almost like discipleship has become for the super Christian. So you can become a Christian, be saved from hell, believe the essentials of, of Jesus died on the cross for my sins, but only the super Christians follow Jesus. Only the radical people are the ones who commit their life and pattern their life after Jesus Christ. And, and I, you just read through the New Testament, you don't see that separation. If you're going to become a Christian, it means following Jesus. And, and it's not just uh, people, you know, out there. It's not just uh, the church people that are the problem. Pastors are the problem as well. I even saw this in my own life when I was over there in East Asia and I kind of experienced how they did church compared to how I think about church and how we do church here in America. Uh, in seminary, you're trained on how to preach, you're trained on how to, you know, know theology, and you're trained on how to run the church. And what pastors do, it's just basic, I don't know, it's something about preaching and pastors and leaders in general. Um, what ends up happening is we'll focus on building the church instead of making disciples. And the reason is because the bigger the church gets, the more people there are, and it's funner to preach in front of a lot of people than it is a few people. Just being, just being honest there, moment of brutal honesty. Uh, but when you focus on building the church at the expense of making disciples, uh, things go wrong. In fact, if you focus on building the church, you rarely get disciples. But if you'll focus on making disciples, then you'll always get the church. So a lot of church leaders, what has happened is they've They've seen the church as the cause of discipleship and not the effect of discipleship. And so you get the chicken before the egg, wait, the egg before the chicken. And so you can't have a chicken unless you have a full chicken making another chicken. Oh, stop that analogy. Basically, you've got to have discipleship taking place before you can actually have a church. And so when you focus on building the church and not on making disciples, you never really get disciples. And the only thing we've been given authority to do as church leaders and as Christians is make disciples. Jesus never gave us the authority to build the church. Jesus said in Matthew 16, I'll build the church, you make disciples. And so discipleship, having, I mean, it is the absolute essential. It is the core. It is the most important thing. And what has happened is we've made it kind of a program. It's a class that you attend. It's a course that you finish. Hey, just hop into the system, get plugged into the small group, let the system do its work, and you'll become a disciple. And, and what has happened is it does not create disciples. And now in America, we have churches absolutely full of undisciplined disciples, people who are believing in Jesus for their salvation, but do not think that that same grace which saves them is also meant to transform them, their lives to make them look like Jesus. 